In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to make your nature scene lightning more realistic. So here I have a scene that I made a couple of days ago. To be sure that there is no light, I'm going to go to the Octane Settings, Settings, Environment. Make sure the color here is black, so there is a black background. So first let's add a sunlight. I have a shortcut here, but you can find it under Objects, Lights, Octane Daylight. Hit R to rotate the light inside your scene. Find the right spot for you. Next, we need to add an HDRI to have a more realistic lighting overall. Go to Object, HDRI Environment. To make our HDRI visible, we need to go back to our Daylight Daylight tag and tick this Mix Sky Texture box. Choose the HDRI you like, and now try to match the sun from our daylight with the sun of our HDRI. We can click on this icon to bring the node editor and edit the scale of our HDRI. I want it smaller, so add a transform node. Here I'm adjusting the rotation, power, and gamma of my sky. This is how you can really bring your scene to a next level. What we can also do is to add a bit of atmosphere with a fog volume. If you want, I have a full tutorial on it up here. I have a shortcut here, but you can find it under Objects, Octane Fog Volume. Make the voxel size way bigger so the computer doesn't crash, go to medium, volume medium, decrease the density a lot, and make the absorption and scattering a brighter color. I'm going to make them white. Now let's scale the fog volume so it encompasses the whole scene. Let's suppose I want to highlight a subject I have in my scene. I can create an area light and point it in the same direction as our sun. As we're in a 3D scene, we can cheat by adding artificial light. Go to Objects, Lights, Octane, Area Light. Make the light a bit warmer so it's more like the sunlight and make it invisible. That's it for this quick tip. Hope it can help you make your render better. See you in the next video.